Welcome once again to another edition of Shelf Life Book Reviews Online. As always, I thank you very much for taking the time to watch my videos, which I hope you will find informative. And when you go to your local bookstore to select books, that these books are ones you will very seriously consider. Two fiction books are on the docket today, and they are both very highly recommended. The first is The Itch Girl by Ruth Ware. This is published by Simon & Schuster, and it retails for $26.99. They have called Ruth Ware the Agatha Christie of our generation, and with good cause. She has penned a series of books that have become bestsellers and have definitely brought a lot of fans to her side. Previous books, such as Woman in Cabin 10 and In a Dark, Dark Wood, have cemented her as one of the leaders in quality mystery thrillers. Uh, the It Girl is definitely one that you will want to read and one that you will have difficulty putting down. It revolves around uh, the main character, her name is Hannah Jones, and uh, she attended Oxford University. And uh, actually the book is told uh, in chapters that are before and after and um, they're in sequence. Um, actually, it follows the life of Hannah Jones as she came to Oxford University. And she had a best friend and roommate whose name was April Clark Cliveden. And April Clark Cliveden was one of the elites of the school. She liked the good things, the best clothes, and uh, Hannah Jones was almost like a fish out of water because she didn't seem to fit in. But April made her part of the, the group. Um, it was like a little clique there, and there were a lot of friends in the group. And amongst the best friends of that group were Emily Litmana, Ryan Coate, Hugh B Bland, and Will de Chastain. And they were all like a little group, and everything seemed to be all hunky-dory until April was murdered. She was savagely killed. And um, there was a person who was charged and convicted of the crime. He was a porter in the building, and um, his name was John Neville. And uh, he went to jail. He always said he did not kill her. Uh, Hannah saw him leaving her room the night that she was found dead. So obviously, police and everyone put two and two together and figured he was her killer. Well. John Neville died in prison, and after the death, a reporter came forth and said he didn't do it. He was not the killer. Someone else killed that girl. And so, um, as I said, it alternates between before, which was 10 years ago, just before she was killed, and 10 years after the fact. And um, Hannah starts reflecting on the murder. She is now married to Will de Chastain, um, who she met 10 years ago at Oxford University. And um, she starts wondering now who really could have killed her. And it's like a definite um, cat and mouse game of the killer is out there and the killer obviously does not want Hannah to figure it all out. So uh, at one point her life is definitely in danger because there's a killer lurking there. And uh, it, uh, as the pages progress, the book gets creepier and creepier. It's just like, wow. And it's, like I said, it's a book that you will definitely not be able um, to put down. Um, it's, um, the characters are either dark or they're good characters. Um, I won't, of course, I'm not gonna say who the killer was, but you'll start going through the suspects and you'll start seeing the reason for why they killed April 10 years ago. So if you're looking for the IT thriller of the year, The IT Girl is definitely a book that you should add to your collection. And the second book of note, this time out, is Vanished by Linda LaPlante. This is published by Zoffrey and it retails for $38.99. The cover says it all. Killers just don't don't just disappear, and uh, it's that type of thriller. Um, Linda Plant is known for her quality works, just as Ruth Ware is, 
And this book is definitely one where you will be frantically turning pages, thinking, who, who killed this woman? Now, the book centers around Avril Jenkins, who is a widow. She's kind of eccentric. Um, she constantly calls the police because every night she swears she hears people in her house. She swears they're stealing things, her artwork, her knives, linen. It, it's, uh, and the police get to the point of like, okay, this is a crazy eccentric woman. Just, you know, just go, you know, just to calm her down. There's nothing there, nothing to worry about. But there is something to worry about because Avril Jenkins is found murdered. Not just murdered, she's cut up into little pieces. And uh, so the inspector, DC Jack Marr, and actually this is book three of the Jack Marr series. I've not read the first two, but um, based on this, I might go back and look for the first two because it's definitely an interesting character. Jack Marr is very complex. It just doesn't show him as a police officer. It shows his family life and how he, how he reacts to the family and his job. Now, Avril Jenkins, always thought that the person who was breaking into her house was a former lodger there by the name of Adam Border. And uh, he just suddenly left, but she thinks he's coming back and taking things from her house. So Jack Marr is on the trail of Adam Border because he seems a potential suspect. But as they investigate the house, they find that there is a major marijuana grow up operation in the house. Now, did the woman know about it? Was it secretive? Or if she found out, is that why she was killed? And as they investigate further in the house down in the basement, there is another secret area with more drugs, more unusual findings, and there's another body. So it's like, who is, who is responsible? So um, as Jack Marr finds out he is hot on the trail of Adam Border, and he's it's it's like a worldwide excursion of where's Jack or where's Adam, and so um, his in his boss Simon Ridley, uh, the two often clash. Simon Ridley and Jack Marr, they get along, but there's like a tension between the two of them. They're always questioning. Simon's always questioning Jack's um, abilities. So as we find out. Uh, he, Jack eventually tracks down Adam Border and because he thinks he's the killer. Well, the truth is he has a video of the actual death because there were dozens of cameras all through the house. Now, whether Avril Jenkins knew they were there or not, uh, they filmed her murder. It was like a snuff movie. And Adam Border makes a deal with Jack that he will send him, you know, the real killers. He'll let them know if he lets him get away. So uh, it's, it's a very interesting thriller. Uh, I'm trying to find the words to say, but it's, it, it, it's a powerful thriller where it's a roller coaster ride toward the end as we try to figure out who the killer is and why they killed this eccentric widow. So um, Vanished is a book that hopefully will not vanish from bookshelves without people buying it because it's definitely a classic work by Linda LaPlante and the second book this week of note, Ruth Ware and Linda LaPlante, two books that you should definitely add to your collection. So those are the two books I wanted to draw to your attention this time out. Hopefully you will agree with me. Let me know if you do or you don't. So until we meet again, and we will very soon with two more fiction titles, stay safe, stay sane, stay social distancing, and do stay in touch. Bye for now.